in terms of uh, size, I think that what's important is, you know, there are the standard size for bed planners, <laughs> like 300 by 250 and so on. What's important is to go, when you plan the website, by the width. And then, if you have a client that is going to put in money, you are just using the same width as the standard width, but you are doing it much higher. So you're not redesigning the whole, the, the whole site. Yes? Um, in our parent company, NTTV's website, they have started this new kind of ad where basically when you log on to the home page, the home page just completely shifts. And it moves to, I don't know if it's live. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. It's NDTV.com. NDTV.com. It's, it's okay, it's not there It's right not, not live but right this now. But entire on page shifts, and then to the left, like on your iPad when you shift stuff, yeah. and then the entire page is an ad. And then you have to basically, you know, close, close it or it come, back to, come back to it. Yeah, page. and you have sometimes, uh, I have never seen something like that, but I have many times seen an ad that opens like that, and yeah, then you close it and the site yeah. goes back. Yeah. Yeah. We'll speak about that. I, I'm not against it. But we, there's a very thin line between doing that and annoying the user. And as I said, what I do hate, I will relate to that in a second, is the, the ads that, that take over your, your, completely over your, your page. And I think that their main problem is that they don't understand the, the climate of, uh, of using internet. It's what I was saying. The power shifts to, you, to the user. When you say to the user, you know, I don't want to make see moves, but we don't care about you, you know, I'll just uh, put this in, in your eyes, there is something that is against the nature of the internet. And this is also something I have to say. Many advertisers have forgotten that a very important principle is not to annoy your user. Like when I was the editor of Haaretz websites in Israel, they, in, the, in every page, there used to be a, a 300 by 600, like a very, very high ad, and a lot of weeks, there were just stars there. Now, I sometimes have migrants. And a migrant starts when you see stars on the side. Like, you would feel completely well, but you just start seeing stars on the side. Every time I was trying to read a, a, an article in, in the website, I was editing. I was feeling I have a migraine. Because, you know, you have this thing on the side. So it's exactly like you wouldn't do on TV an ad that just puts a, an alarm, you know, like uh, the, uh, the ad starts to do the... Something like, well, it would be very eff effective. It would, it would definitely drive the attention, but it's not what it's meant to be. So... Uh, I have I a question. When you put that ad on the sides, how did that work? We don't know how the performance was, but it was done for more than one occasion. So we assume that it worked for some client. I don't know. And it's it, uh, it, it was not done on a lot of websites, Indian websites actually. It's done a lot in European websites. You it's can see in that in, uh, uh, you can see that for a lot in uh, Spiegel, for instance, in Germany. But in a lot, a lot of the European websites, you can, you can see French websites, German websites. You can see that a lot. So big and in the content. That's another good, uh, example from uh, from Europe, the Politiken. It's a, De a Danish uh, website. Uh, they cut the site to this huge ad that basically almost takes a screen. 